guys welcome back to another video today I'm going to show you guys how to custom make your own acrylic powders and basically all you need is some clear acrylic powder and some white um, the acrylic powders that I'm using is by spoil me uh, nail and beauty supply um, so what I'm gonna do um, I've got some chalk here and it's by Crayola, and I the color is sepia, I think. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna try to make my own nude acrylic powder to save you guys some money. Um, as you may know, acrylic powders do not come cheap, and if you are a beginner on doing nails and you just basically wanna save yourself some money, I'm just going to show you how to custom make your own acrylic by using chalk. Now I've done this method before on my channel. I didn't really like the outcome because the chalk was quite, let's just say you can see the little specks in the acrylic when applied, but I worked around that pr problem. You would need something like this. This is a tobacco uh, grinder and it's an electric one. So you've got this little container at the bottom. So what you would do, you would actually, I actually demonstrate this in, in front of you guys. Um, so right here, I've got a old handheld uh, nail um, drill that I unfortunately messed up. Um, so you would need an old nail drill. The reason why, I don't know what it is. I think what happens, the chalk seems to seep through the, um, vent thing here. And then it starts to make a rattling sound and completely messes up your handheld drill. So I advise you to use an old one. So what you're going to, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to switch this on. Oh, uh, by the way, you will need a sanding band as well at the top, um, at the end of the your nail drill. So this is what I'm going to do. Put on the light speed. I'm going to grab the chalk, and basically what I'm going to do is just file away a bit of the chalk into this container. Yes, guys, this does make a mess, um, so I advise you to put some paper towels down or something. And But who doesn't like a bit of mess? You know, just clean it up afterwards. No big deal. So you're going to just about put a fair amount of the chalk powder into the container. I think that's enough. You don't need much, guys. So once you've done that, you then are going to apply, well, put in a bit of your white acrylic powder. And let me just get this little spoon thing. I'm just gonna apply just a little bit, not too much. That's, I think that's about right. You can always add a little at the beginning and just see where you at when you apply the acrylic and you could always add more if you don't like the outcome. So that's in there. I'm going to now pop some clear acrylic powder, which I have in this big pot. So I'm gonna to try to fill that up as much as I can with this clear acrylic. Roughly about that much, I think. That much will do. Guys, there's not, there's no like perfect ratio. I don't, I'm not really measuring it out. I'm just like I'm eyeballing it out and just popping it in. Oops, where did that come from? Right. So once you're done that, you're just gonna pop this on. Now this is a tobacco uh, grinder and it's electric. An electric one. Um, I purchased this 
from Amazon. Uh, I think you can purchase this from eBay as well and wish them. Well, I don't know what other websites you can get it from, but you can get it. So all you do is just switch it on and it starts to, you just turn it this way, like that, and just kind of rotating it until it gets it all. Just move it around until you get that lovely mix. Like that. Oops. So you get up all, all those that little chalk bits into it. You can shake if you want. Like that. I can switch it off now. I'm going to check it by turning this. Look at that. Look how smooth that is, guys. I don't know if you can see. Look at this. When I did the... Just using the nail drill, it was like... You could see a lot of specks of the chalk. This is completely grounded down. Smooth. So, now is the test to show you guys if it works. Uh, I've got some monomer here. And my brush if you do see a bit of specks all you got to do is just put use the uh, grinder again so let's see if this works popped a bit too much powder on there but there you go you can see that do you can see that here you go see that now you can add more of the chalk, less of the chalk, whatever you guys prefer, but it really does work. Look at that. There's no specks of the chalk in the acrylic. Just like that. And there you have it. Amazing, right? I love this method. Right now, this is my go-to and I really wanted some matte kind of coloured acrylic and this is perfect and it sets amazing as well so guys give it a go let me know how you get on and yeah um don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel and click on that notification bell so you do not miss any future videos of mine and why don't you hit that like button and comment below and I love to see you guys in another video. So take care. Bye.